girls so welcome back to a, another vlog guys so this is going to be like a chill like self-care kind of vlog tonight um i did um add a little something inside the living room but i'll probably show that like a little bit later in the vlog but tonight we are going to do like a little self-care tonight um i think i want to cook tonight um and just maybe like soak in a tub and stuff and i'll just show you guys everything that i use to um exfoliate and um clean for our self-care and how that um when i do my little self-care tonight and the sun will be going down here probably about 7 30 or something so it is like a little bit early um and i did want it to be like a little early because yeah remember when i was telling y'all i was like kind of jet lagged from like vacation and all that but yeah my back been killing me and i really need to soak and my massages is not available until monday so monday we have a um spa appointment so i'm really excited for that i'm not sure if i'll bring you guys with me or not um but yeah so monday i got like a little spa appointment but i do want to do some self-care tonight and actually soak and try to um relax my muscles a little bit um maybe have like a glass of wine and just like you know just self-care tonight so i pretty much been like cleaning up all day um living room looks gorgeous um so it really wasn't that dirty in there but i've been pretty much cleaning up all day i did move my um little office around i'll show you guys if you guys are interested in the office makeover or me decorating the office uh I want you guys to comment below let me know but yeah girl so right now we just basically just like chilling right now i'm very exhausted but yeah we're gonna go ahead and probably start winding down here in a minute i do want to take my food out the freezer for what i'm gonna cook tonight and yeah so let's get our night started okay y'all so i think i'm about to go ahead and um get out what i'm gonna eat for tomorrow i mean for tonight y'all i'm so tired um i think i want to do some salmon tonight but yeah so i think i want to do some salmon tonight y'all so windy i said so this is the shrimp that i use from Culver's, and then i got the salmon and like the same brand and then I got my salmon in here, which I'm about to unthaw now. So I'm gonna unthaw this. Normally what I like to do, y'all, I really like to basically cook my um, food before I actually get in the tub because I don't like smelling like food when I get out the tub. So, yeah. <laughs> so I like to cook before I actually get in the tub. But I don't know if that's gonna be the case tonight. Cause I'm ready to get a fill and relax. At least some big shrimp too. Oh, that's right. Oh, these are big shrimp. I'm excited for these. Ooh. Okay. So I think these shrimp is gonna be real nice and big. Yeah, so I I put my shrimp in here to unthaw and basically. I'm gonna let that unthaw, and I think while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and run this water. So we can start to wind down. Okay, girls, so we are now in the bathroom, and I wanna show y'all some stuff that I had got from Ross for my tub. So y'all, first thing I wanna show y'all is this little, um over the um cabinet little storage little bin and this was only 5.99 and it came from ross it's actually really cute and what i want to do is i just want to hang this inside of my cabinet to like hang like really just like my hair stuff for real that way i ain't gotta always bend down for it but ross do sell these and they're really cute so i'm gonna put this up under my sink in my cabinet this is actually what we are going to use tonight for our little self-care night very excited because i've never had the one that actually had like the little back part love that this actually came from ross too as well and this was this was 10.99 and it says it's by homes plus solutions so it says two-piece luxury lounger it says relaxing unwind stop padding targeting keys impact points offering premium comfort set include bath pillow and extra long mat so and it's actually really soft so i'm excited so i want to go ahead and put this on it smell like something though <laughs> it smell kind of weird but hopefully that goes away but this is how the back of it looks 
I want y'all to comment if y'all got one of these, but I'm very excited because, yeah, it's going to give like that spot kind of feel and just the feel that I need for tonight. I almost forgot to show y'all, but we're going to also use our um, little bath tray as well, which I got from Amazon, and it will be linked below if you guys are interested. This is in my Amazon store, so we love this. And then we're going to put our wine on there, probably like a book, maybe even our phone. I went mad watching a little Netflix in the tub tonight. I don't know. But yeah, sometimes I'll be a little nervous to put like electronics in there because I'll be like, girl, I do not want to get electrocuted messing around trying to be cute and relax. But yeah, that's everything. Remember, I was telling y'all about the little door inside the cabinet. So basically, it'll go in your cabinet just like this. You can just hang it on your door and then it'll be just like that. Like, how cute and convenient is this? And then also you can close it. So when you close it, you will see them hooks right there. But I still think it's good to have. And then when you open it, it'll be like that. I'm like, okay. But yeah, obviously I'll take this off and stuff like that. But yeah, I just want to show y'all how it'll be if you was to put it like. But pretty much you can put this anywhere that pretty much is able to... Um, you know fits the little hook thing or whatever but like i said i think i just want to put like hair utensils and stuff in there like let me see i'm gonna show y'all real quick so like you can put all kind of stuff in there like so we got like this but obviously like it wouldn't be tall like i would have to like lay it down like this so like say if i wanted to do this and like say if i wanted to take like my new curls which i still gotta show y'all how i do these but let's just say if I want to like take my new curlers and like sit them in there, which is kind of big, but yeah, <laughs> these actually too big, but I'm just giving y'all an example of stuff that y'all can actually fit in here or y'all can fit like tissue in here. You can pretty much put anything in these and that's what I loved about it. So, but it still should shut really. Um, if I move the other door, it should still shut, but I wouldn't put these in there because obviously it's too big. But yeah, so yeah. Just a little stuff you can put in there. It actually looks cute. But y'all, it's pretty soft, sis. I ain't even gonna lie. I would highly recommend. I'm gonna see if I can find one of these and post it on my Amazon store because y'all, this is very soft. I could tell it's a really good quality and I am here for it. Let me see. How do it go? I guess it don't matter because both ends look the same. Let me see. Yeah, so this go at like the bottom of the tub and then a the pillow is right here which is really nice very luxury so this is okay so this is the back part and then this is the front part and it has like the little pillow right here which is nice and then it got like the little back part which i love because i can't stand when it's just like the pillow but then like your back ain't really getting a no little support so i actually appreciate them having a little back part on here so yeah I like that. But let's go ahead and put this in the tub, sis, because I'm excited. Even the tag is, like, waterproof, okay? So, yeah, and I love that it has a bunch of um, suction cups, so it ain't going nowhere. It's going to be real sturdy, and it has a bunch on the bottom part, too. So, let's put this in the tub so we can go ahead and get this self-care soak.
We're going to use these for mass tonight. I did not know tomorrow was Easter. And so it's going to go on just like this. And it's fairly easy and it's like super moisturizing as well. So it's just going to kind of just lay on your face just like this. It smells really good. A little self care tonight. And then like it got so much product in it. You can like smooth it out like on your chin. Down here. Just to kind of get the product everywhere. And then it also has the flap for the nose as well. Very, very moisturizing. It smells extremely good. So I'll keep this on for like 10 minutes. But I am going to um, get in a tub with it as well. So yeah. Comment below if you guys um, use these masks. Or if you guys ever used this brand before. And comment um, also if it's any other brands you guys recommend for like even like when it comes to brightening skin or pigmentation which i battle with and just putting um and just very moisturizing and stuff like this it feels good too it's very relaxing and then this also has the um smaller ends this is a little um face little mask that i had got from um uh, marshall's that take off your makeup with just water y'all it's fire um i actually like it because i don't have to use product and it's easy to um come out as well so i would highly recommend these and what you can do is just take some soap and just wash it out watch how quick it come out i had just loved how easy it was to come out it'll be right back clean just with some soap and water i love these so yeah, this is basically what I'm using from here on out because I don't really need to use anything else but this. Plus, I don't have to use makeup wipes. And I don't have to spend a ton of money on them. But I still got some Neutrogena wipes. I'll probably use the rest of those. But ready to get in the tub real quick. Um, soak and stuff like that. And then when I get out, I think I'm going to put these on. And then I just kind of use this to kind of like clean my face off. Comment below, like, do you guys actually rinse off the face mask when you're, um, after you're done? Or, like, do you just rub it into your skin? Like, my last one, I had rinsed off the product after I was done because it was just, like, very moisturizing and it was just really wet. But I'm like, was I supposed to rinse the product off after the mask? Or do I keep it on? Comment, let me know. But, yeah, we're about to go ahead and get in the tub. So, I'm excited. y'all why do i feel so amazing like you can just tell i feel so great so basically i finished my skincare uh put on my little robe from z gallery i will link this below if you guys would like to purchase it they do have other kinds love this robe and you guys will kind of see um a longer clip whenever i put on my little perfume but um yeah so i went ahead and finished my skincare I do want to go ahead and put on this lip scrub real quick. I want you guys to comment and let me know if you guys use um, lip scrubs. But I do have this lip scrub. It is by Sarah Happy. So this is how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and put this lip scrub on tonight. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Like I said, I took off my face mask, stuff like that. My food is already done, but I just pretty much just take a little bit like this. I just scoop it with my finger like this. So, yeah, I just do that. And then I pretty much do this. Like, feeling so plump. Then after that, guys, um, I take my Argan oil plus vitamin E nourishing. Um, it's really facial oil, but I actually put it on my lips too as well after I do my lip scrub. So, this is what I use. And I just put this on my lips because it just really just makes them so moisturizing. And I do it just like that. Like, look how good these look. Oh my goodness. Like, and it smells so good. Like, wow. Like, look at my lips. Instead of putting these on tonight, what I used was I just ended up putting like some um, hyaluronic acid oil. It's like an eye serum. I end up using this Clean Beauty Brightening Eye Serum. It's vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, um, and caffeine. It says help smooth fine lines. So this is actually what I end up using for my under eye instead of putting my patches in. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. Like, I love this. Like, this literally, um, like, when you put it on your face, it just starts to smooth out so good. It starts to feel so creamy. So, yeah. They sell these at, like, you can get these from Mar Marshalls or TJ Maxx. But yeah, they got all type of like eye serums and stuff that you can use, you know, just to kind of add to like your face um, or your skincare routine, just to kind of like help with like fine lines and, you know, stuff like that. And then also just adding that vitamin C back into your skin after you wash your skin. I hope you guys are all doing well today. So guys, we are in the living room right now. I did go ahead and do like my little morning routine and stuff like that. So today is Easter. So happy Easter to you guys and your family. I do want to go ahead and try to figure out what I'm going to do with my background today. So I do want to add something in back of us right now because I just feel like something is missing. Even though it's like cute with the ottomans, like I said yesterday, um, I think I want to try to put something right here just to... Just kind of add more to the living room, but still not cluttering the living room. So I do want to um, do that today. And then also I had got a Amazon package yesterday with my new Be Life vacuum cleaner. So I'm really excited for that. And I want to show you guys how that works and stuff like that. Now y'all, my hair, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did try to um, crimp my hair. 
the little waivers that I had got from, what was it? Marshalls, and it was like $20. Y'all, this is how it turned. Like, isn't it so cute? Like, I'm like, ah, oh, let me do my little hair today. So I'm supposed to be going to my cousin's house later on for Easter or whatever. So I'm like, let me just kind of do a little something to my hair. But that's why I got them, because I just wanted to be able to put some little waves in them without doing a lot. But yeah, I think it turned out cute. Let me know what y'all think. Also, let me know if you guys have one. I'm gonna show y'all this little Be Life cordless vacuum because I've been wanting one for so long. So I wanna thank Be Life for sending me this. I'm super excited. So this is actually the vacuum right here. It's so cute. I'm so excited. Like I said, it is the cordless um, and it is digital as well. So let's get into it, girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up real quick. And then we're gonna take it out. It looked like a lot actually comes with this vacuum, so I'm pretty sure um, it'll take me a while to um, unbox it, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. And then I'm gonna show you guys everything that comes with it. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I use it and then also like how it works. So I'm really excited, because like I said, I've never had like a digital um, cordless one, so I'm really excited because I always wanted one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, girl, so this is our Be Life cordless vacuum cleaner. I am so excited. So let's see here. So we got some little attachments right here, look like. So I think, okay, so I think this probably goes with like the little long part. So let's put that to the side. Then you have your wall charger. But I believe you can charge this like two ways, which I think is just very convenient. So let's go ahead and take this out here. So it actually comes with this little long part right here which I'm pretty sure this is detachable and you probably okay this is okay and you can adjust this to go long and short oh this is nice okay so we got that so we look like a few attachments so we have an attachment right here that you can probably use for like your sofa couch etc oh we have another attachment too this is nice so we have another attachment, which I think is like two attachments. Oh, this is nice. So yeah, this attachment right here, it kind of goes like up and down like this, real nice. And then you have like these buttons right here, which I believe this goes on the sweeper right here. But um, yeah, where you can clean it, real nice. It comes set up like this. This is nice, oh my goodness. These are some details about it. So basically it has lead touch screen design a 12 to 25 kPa powerful suction, and then it has a 20 to 50 minute running time, a 380 W powerful brushless motor, a 7 2600 mAh detachable battery, six stage high efficiency filter. Okay, and then these are some specifics on the back too as well, okay. So that's everything that it does. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it together. This is actually the bottom part that actually sweeps. This is really cute. But it looks like this is the power battery. Oh, this is nice. So this actually is the battery. So it says the voltage 25.9 VDC. This is the battery. It's pretty heavy, so I think this probably goes um, on it, maybe in like back of it or something. Okay, good. So we ain't gotta put nothing together. So this actually goes on my wall or wherever I want to sit it at. You guys can actually mount this on your wall, and um, I'm assuming you can sit your um, cordless vacuum in there, and that's what the two screws are for. Oh, that's fire! And for the grand finale, I'm excited about this. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm too. Oh, this look like a. Oh, this. Oh, wow. You guys, this, okay. So when you push the button, so I think, is this the, this look like the release for the dust and like dirt and stuff. So when you push this button right here, it opens. <laughs> that is so cute. So this is a very well made, I can already tell, device. So it looks like right here is actually the digital situation. So hold on. So, okay, so the tape comes out the little digital part. All right, I'm excited for this, y'all. And then this part right here look like is what you use to actually sweep. So let's try to put this together. So I believe, I feel like this right here goes with this. See, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Your girl, okay. And like I said, y'all, it has the extension right here. 
And then I'm assuming the bottom part will just stick on like this. It just clips on very easy, as you guys can see. Let's test her out. We're gonna clean the living room a little bit. This is the little screen for the digital um, screen. Also, um, this is how you actually turn it on right here. And this is how you um, open the lid to clean it. As I said, you can turn it. It has all kind of turning features, which is really nice. Right here is like a touch screen. So that's really nice. So you can touch this for it to go up or down. That's really nice. And then it also has a light on it as well. So that's really nice. Then also to detach it from this, you'll just hit this button and then it'll come out just like that. And then you can hold this and that's what cleans it. Very easy. Let's put this attachment on and see how it does. See if it's easy to go on, okay? Really easy for the attachments. That was my B Life new cordless vacuum. I wanna thank B Life for sending me that and sponsoring this portion of today's video. I will have the link in the description below if you guys would like to check it out. So girls, here we are to the most infamous, most talked about place in the living room, the fireplace. I know a lot of y'all had an issue with the cords last time. Like I said, I never wanted cords hanging neither. I just knew I wanted lamps, but this is what I'm going to do. I went ahead and ordered some Alexa lights from Amazon. And basically, we are not going to need the cords. So what I'm going to do is put the cords up here and I'm just going to like hide them. Because I do like the lamps on the fireplace. Like, I'm not changing that. If I do, it's gonna be when I change my decor or whatever. But right now, the core can be up here like this. And then you won't even know that it even exists. Okay, so that's what I'm doing with the cords right now. And like I said before, I did go ahead and order the Alexa lights. So, I will not need cords hanging. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is the wall and the pictures are now even. Um, eventually I was gonna make them even. I just was trying something new when I had one up more than the other one. These are even now. And also I pulled them closer together because what I'm gonna do is I wanna put an entryway table at the bottom of this. So that's why I actually scooted them together and I think it actually looks a lot better too as well. I will be keeping the plant right here on the left side and what I wanna do is add like an entryway table at the bottom. Now I do have an entryway table that I would like to add and I wanna show you guys here. Guys, right here is the entryway table that I do want to add into my living room. Now this entryway table did come from Ross and I just wanted you guys to get a good look at it. It is a white entryway table and then it also has the gold trim which looks really good and I love the design in here too as well. I think when I got the little side tables that you guys seen, I had got this at the same time because I was trying to kind of get pieces that kind of matched. 
so this is what i want to use no it's not as long as the pictures is but i think it'll actually still turn out really cute i want you guys to comment and let me know what do you guys think about this this has actually been in my house since my apartment so i've had this for years now um i'm pretty good at keeping stuff for years especially when it's really good quality so i'm very happy that i never got rid of this and like i said this was the table that my coffee and stuff was on and then i had moved it into my office space and then once i got the wall and the pictures of the wall i was like I'm going to go ahead and use this as the entryway table up under the pictures and decorate it. And I think that's going to be really cute. So, this is how it looks. Really cute. And then I'm going to put it in the living room and then we're going to try to style it. Hey guys, so as I said before, we have the wall art right here, which looks really good. And then we have the plant right here. So, I'm going to move the plant out the way real quick. And then I want to take my ottomans and actually move them to the side as well. Okay. So basically what I want to do is I want to take um, the entryway table and like put it up under here. Like I said before, um, the entryway table is not as long as these two. So it is going to like maybe come like right here, like a little bit down there from the edge. I don't think that's really going to be a problem. Um, I think it is still like look good. But I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah. So yeah, I basically want to put it up under here and then try to decorate it and then we're going to see how it looks. I think it's going to look really cute though. So this is the entryway table. Like I said before, I know that it does not come as long as the picture, but I still think it looks cute right there. It is entry weight tables that's probably longer, but I don't have an issue with this, honestly, and I really don't hate it. I think it still looks good, but I want you guys to kind of stare at that for a second. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if you guys ever seen pictures that was a little wider than the entryway table. I think this still looks really good, honestly. I think it looks really pretty. As you know, my ottomans are a little thick. Now, one thing I noticed is that the ottomans are actually thicker. So they really don't exactly fit back here. But I want to see if I scoop this up a little bit, if it'll look right if I try to put them in there then. So let's see because I can't like put the entryway table all the way back on the wall and then the ottomans actually fit so I think what I want to do is just pull it up a little bit and then just put the ottomans in there like that let me know what you guys think now what I did was I took this ginger jar that you guys have seen before um, that was actually just on my little dining table and I put these little foam flowers in it which I thought was really pretty. So I put these little foam flowers in it right here and it's like three of them, you know, and I just kind of like made them to where they fit really nicely. So this is how this ginger jar look with these little foam flowers and then they have like these little green things sticking out right here. And then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and place this on the entryway table. But I think I want to place it like right in the middle. It's just for some reason that just looks good to me. And then place this right here. I think it looked good in between that gap. But let me know what y'all think. So this is how it looks all together. I wanted to add something else, but I'm like, I feel like if I add something else, it's going to clutter it because the entryway table for one is not that long and that's fine. Um, but the entryway table is not that long. So I feel like the ginger jar and the little flowers are just enough for me. And now I feel like I want to put this back over here.
neck right there. So guys, these are the details on the entryway table. I just want to give you guys a close up. What do I think about it? Um, I like it. Um, I definitely think it looks really good with the entryway table. Um, it could be longer, but it's not a crime that it's not. I think it still looks good if it's this size or even longer. Um, but I want you guys to comment and let me know. I do like the ottomans up under here. Um, I don't think it's the reason to put the ottomans on the side. In my opinion, I just think they look better up under there because it's like an open space. So I might as well put something up under there. Plus, it just makes it more interesting. But I want you guys to comment let me know. I think, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to keep the pictures how they are. I don't think I'm going to scoot them closer together. I like them just a little bit apart. I just don't want them so close together because they are two different um, frames. And that's how I want them to come off. I don't want them to be too close. If I had wanted two close pictures, I would just would have got one big picture. But comment, let me know what you guys think so far. And then like I said, I just end up putting um, the ginger jar right here with like some little foam flowers. Came from Burlington. And then I just put the lid right here. But as you guys can see, the entryway table is actually not that wide in width. So, yeah. That's why I don't want to clutter it because I think it's going to like make it look even smaller. So that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole entire vlog. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you guys think about the new entryway table. Um, adding to this wall. And do you think it looks right? Do you think it's a nice added touch? And also, do you guys like the ottomans up under there? And stuff like that. So, yeah. I think that's everything. Comment below if you guys think um, the living room looks beautiful. Love you guys. See you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>